So what's going on toxic gamers and Call of Duty refugees? Well, we got another drama. It seems like that everybody's mad right now. Everybody's talking about it. And we got we have Activision in the news. We got cheaters in the news. And yeah, we got another Call of Duty hate video. You check out, guys. It's simply fun. Like, you're, just gonna, you're just gonna be getting right into it. Like the video if you love your mama. Like the video if you love God. Like the video if you're feeling good today. Doing good. Feeling good. Doing good. Let me know where you guys at. And guys, you're not gonna believe it. Today we have the homie Blame Truth 2.0. Not Blame Truth, but Blame Truth 2.0. You're gonna see it in a second. Shout out to the homie The Rick. Roll it. Bro, I, I cannot believe there is not Bro. one employee over the thousands that probably work at Activision that can't just sit yeah. here and watch. I mean, I, I know it sounds selfish, bro, but it's, it's the most people across these four people playing yeah. that are just diving into rank play, just live band people. Like, you just sit there with a the keyboard, copy and paste names. We're watching the fucking kill games. You can see it happening. Just start getting rid of them all. Just fucking ban them. Exactly. And then people will stop doing it. Maybe. Facts. Probably not. How can they not just sit there and manually take names as we have them literally aim locking? They did Lulu. That's because they did Lulu. Don't worry, Nate shot. And they said, Dear cheaters. Uh, dear, what? Dear cheaters for real? They said that? Damn. We love games. It's our passion. We are honored to make games for the greatest fans in the world. We don't. Uh, greatest fans in the world. And these suckers have the audacity to charge people $20 for that friendly UAV online bundle. For that friendly UAV online right these suckers are crazy man if you really love your fans you would have been giving your fans this friendly uav online bundle for free but they don't love their fans though wait for it the start of this video before i talk about everything going on within ranks play yeah. the anti-cheat the cheating and call of duty black ops 6 i just wanted to say this i am trying my absolute best whether you want to believe it or not i am trying to look at things from a different perspective to try to see the good things that are going on the positive side of call of duty and oh, after yeah? all that trying after all that experimenting, trying my best to do that. Yeah, trying my best, but wait, there is more. Man, I swear to God, man, shout out to the homie Rick. Love the guy, but he, <laughs> you're really right. He does sound like the, the younger blame trust. And I'm really, really excited, guys. I'm really, really excited, really excited, really excited, yay! I'm really excited for Dexter prequel. If you guys have seen Dexter, the TV series, let me know, man. That show was fantastic, and apparently we're getting a prequel in December, right? With a younger cast, a younger actor for Dexter, right? I'm really excited for that. So when I watch this video, when I see the Rick channel, I'm like, bro, damn, damn, that's like the younger blame truth. All right, let's get back to the content here, boo-boo. I always come up with nothing. Absolutely <laughs> nothing. <laughs> This game has let me down so much the past few weeks. It is embarrassing. This company, the anti-cheat that is in this game, everything that has gone wrong yeah, is absolutely yeah. a disgrace to us, the Call of Duty community, everybody that has somehow paid money for this game. This is an absolute disappointment. I hope you guys can understand. I'm really trying my best. This is not what I want my YouTube channel to be because as you guys know, yes, I would talk shit about Modern Warfare 3, but overall, I liked Modern Warfare 3. I stood up for Modern Warfare 3. I think Modern Warfare 3 was an amazing game and I felt like Call of Duty was doing pretty well. But of course, they still oh, had yeah? the same bullshit. Skill-based matchmaking, cheaters, mm. all of that, and it just still mm. continues. So I hope you guys can understand that. Hit that like button as a number. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah, I love the guy, man. I love the guy. <laughs> it's just funny, man. It's funny. It's like, I hope you, I'm trying to do my best, guys. Trying to do my best. I hope you guys get it. Hit that like button. Hit that like button right now. But now, guys, definitely hit the like button. Hit the like. And uh, oh, I'm going to also drop a like. I'm also sub. Gang, gang. You feel what I'm saying? I let it, uh, take it away, brother. You to Activision, especially Ricochet, because of what we're talking about in this video, and let's get into the shit. Come on. Yeah. So unless you're it. living Come under on. a rock, which none of my subscribers I feel like do because they're pretty smart individuals, that's why they're subscribed to me. If you're not, the fuck are you doing? You guys probably all understand and all see that there is a big time cheating problem in Call of Duty Black Ops 6 rank play. He is rival. anybody surprised? I know I'm not. I'm pretty sure I'm the one that called this, and so many other people did weeks ago, months ago, because there is no anti cheat in this game mm. there might be a little anti-cheat here that can find the easy stuff that any little small grade anti-cheat can find but to find this other yeah. stuff within yeah, this yeah. game there is no anti-cheat this yeah game yeah this is this is why you have zero friends and you don't fit in spiritual soul was right <laughs> You know, he was right. He right. He right. He right. The cheat that we have in Call of Duty Black Ops 6, as you guys may all know, relies on reports from players. That's why there's a shadow ban system. And of course, even that right there doesn't even work properly because people like me, other casual players that might have one good game who get reported, mass reported by the enemy team, 
those players are being shadow banned. Yep. Yet facts. all these real cheaters facts. out there who actually have aimbot, where their accuracy is 100%, nothing but headshots, already have dark matter after barely playing the game, they're never yeah. shadow banned. They're never. Apparently, like, uh, we saw the video from the homie Call of Shame the other day, other day, right? And, and he was talking about, like, a streamer. I'm forgetting his name. Maybe it was Breadman or, like, uh, the other guy. I, I don't know. I don't want to, like, I don't think it was Breadman. I don't think it was Breadman, but one of his friends, I think, right? Yeah, all the cheaters are kind of like friends, right? Like, this is how they, they, they work. Damn, that's crazy. The loyalty between cheaters is more powerful than any of us out there you you feel what i'm saying like Bumbaka! should should get, get you thinking right should get you thinking the cheaters are more loyal to their group because this is how the mafia works right like you, you can yeah they want to cheat together and uh they want to cheat together essentially right Bruh. what am i even saying but but yeah there was a streamer that apparently never even played the game and he had uh rank 50 and he had like the camels unlocked he did not play Black Ops 6, but he had all of that. So I'm thinking, like, perhaps with Warzone, but I don't know about that one, bro. Banned. You know why? Because there's no fucking anti-cheat. I want to go over this tweet that Call of okay. Duty updates launched from an update that Ricochet gave us all. The Call of Duty community, we all needed to hear from them because we knew, oh my gosh, something must be wrong. Let me show you guys this tweet from Call uh -oh. of Duty updates. He says, Team Ricochet with an update. Ranked play launched this week, and we're on it. While there's lots of work behind the scenes, yeah. <laughs> I bet there is. Here are some highlights. Identified and fixed a data outage that lowered efficacy of AI systems. Motherfucker, I gotta chat GPT this entire sentence to understand <laughs> what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> Adjusting existing thresholds for rank play. But like, don't they always tweet crap like that? Uh, okay, 434 is where we at, right? Like, these like said the same thing like a couple of, I, I remember this. I remember this fact. I remember this when they, they, they dropped this tweet too, right? Yeah, we love games. It's our passion. We're honored to make games for the greatest fans in the world. We don't always get it right. You never get it right, though. You never get it right. <laughs> what are we talking about, man? Yeah, these things like, always... Uh, it seems like that they apologize every other month. And they drop these tweets. Yeah, guys, we're fixing it, man. We're fixing it. We're sorry. We're sorry. But, but like, nothing's being done, man. Damn. Now, at this point, I am 110% convinced that they will never be able to get rid of cheaters. I know, like, very pessimistic take, and personally, like I said before, I'll say it again, I personally have been enjoying Black Ops 6, but I do understand nobody cares, right? But but here's the thing, though. I have been liking the game for what it is, but of course I don't play, like, super uh, passionately anymore. I play w while watching or catching up on YouTube videos, listening to podcasts. That's how I get my, my dopamine and serotonin and all that, because I'm learning and growing by watching podcasts, listening to podcasts, and also, also at the same time, you know, I'm uh, getting the, the stimulation, the stimuli with uh, playing Call of Duty. So I've been enjoying the game that way, so I've been playing it very casually and therefore don't get don't don't get me wrong though skill based management is still kind of bad even for me but it's not that bad in comparison to how bad it used to be when i used to play call of duty for real for real you know you know what i mean just a couple of years ago especially the the modern warfare 2022 when they introduced that friendly uh bbc inbound friendly uav in online you know in that game skill based matchmaking was also inbound as well guys it was uh yeah right so that was uh that was double XL. That was double XL, uh, XL in comparison to Modern Warfare 19. I'm talking skill based matching and don't think about something else, guys. Come on, guys. Bruh. Come on, man. Focus, guys. Focus. All right, let's get back to the, the content here. Boo -boo. Thresholds for rank play. Aggressive targeting of suspicious accounts. Accelerating replay investigations to review suspicious players. We appreciate mm. your patience as we battle against these attacks that disrupt a fair and fun experience. Suspicious players, dog, like just the other day, the homie's face swag, uh, right? Like he was put in a bl uh, shadow ban lobby because the anti-cheat thought he was cheating. He called you guys uh, and you guys were like, okay, we're gonna put him on the Diddy list. You guys put him on a, you guys put him on a Diddy list. Diddy list uh, is basically the white listing for Call of Duty. That's like the metaphor, guys. Bruh. But like, yeah, he asked to be on the white list the other day and you guys were like, okay, let's put you on a Diddy list, right? And I don't know about that, man. I don't know about that. Suspicious players. This is how you suck us. Review of suspicious players. Damn, man. I don't know about you guys. I've been doing this content creating thing for about a year now. Almost a year. Sure. I've been playing this game for 15 plus years. And I'm 24 sure. years old. So I got real world experience as well. I'm pretty good at uh, smelling bullshit. And that is what I see in that tweet. That is what I smell. 
he's 24 years old. He's 24 years old. Bro, like, 24 years old don't necessarily have, generally speaking, life experience though. Like, come on now, man. It's like that meme, right, Spider-Man? That he's no older than my kid. He is no older than my kid. If I can find it, I'll show you right now. He's no older than my kid meme. Let me search that. Uh, yeah, I found it, found it, guys. Born in 1999. He's just a kid. Born in 2000. <laughs> yeah, you, you, bro, like, what are we talking about, man? You, you don't have life experience, brother. You don't have life. Or maybe you do. I'm joking, bro. Maybe. Mel. But I, I smell bullshit. Because Activision released ranked play one day early this year. One day early. Anything with Call of Duty related, anything that gets released early is very rare. So mm. when this happened, you expect everything to work just fine. You expect all the money that they invested, right? They invested quite a bit of money, Wrong. didn't they? In a ricochet. Wrong. Wrong. With Call of Duty, you do not expect a fully working product day one. Jay anti cheat. You expect it to work properly. No, on you day don't. One. And of course, just like last year, and now on to this year, rank play is unplayable. I'm done. You're done? I'm done. Oh, I'm fuck. Done. For sure. I think I'm done. Too. I do it. I might hop back on later if I want to fucking torture myself, but. Oh, fuck. We're dropping like five hours, dude. Yeah, bro. I'm not doing it, bro. I can't, I can't do it anymore. This is like insanity. I would, I, I would sit here and play 14 hours with you if this shit was normal. I can't do this. Yeah, no, same. same. I, uh, my disappointment is immeasurable. What do you think is going to happen? 14 hours? What? What? You suck out of your goddamn mind? Hey, man, let's go for 14 likes on the video, guys. Bruh. What happened when Warzone comes out? It's going to be unplayable because there is no anti-cheat in this game. Absolutely mm. nothing. This tweet is bullshit. Everything has an excuse all the time with this company and everything related to it. You expect this shit to work and it's not working. There is nothing positive about this. Some people could say, oh yeah, they realized there was a problem, so they're fixing. No, no, no. I will bet my fucking left nut, okay? That hey, thing yo. hangs low as fuck, lower than my right one, okay? Let me make sure you guys understand the design of the Rick's testicles, okay? That thing hangs low. I will bet my left nut that nothing changes from the time this tweet posted. I guarantee you, cheaters will still destroy rank play, making it unplayable. They will continue to go on to Warzone. They will go on to multiplayer. Nothing's going to get changed. Every Nothing. time I see they ban 60, 70, 80,000 accounts, yet somehow there's still more- Man, like, ain't this the goddamn truth? Ain't, ain't this the- Ain't this what- th This is exactly what's going on, though. Like I said, I've been enjoying the game. I've been enjoying the game, right? I think it's better than Concord and Dustborn. Absolutely it is. But he ain't lying. He ain't lying. With Call of Duty, you have to expect more than just the unexpected guys if that makes sense that makes sense if that don't make sense well don't worry guys you're probably too young for that <laughs> you're probably too young yeah you're gonna get into it you're gonna get it no diddy you're gonna get it you're gonna understand because uh the more you play call of duty the more you're gonna realize it's over it is over uh, seriously if you want to enjoy call of duty nowadays you just gotta like turn off your brain like logic should go out of the window and you, uh, you want to expect the bare minimum. I'm sorry, but that's the truth, guys. You want to expect the bare minimum, and then you're going to enjoy the game. Like me right now. I, I swear to God, I, I I think the game is... Right. It's not impressive, though, but it's also not garbage. But you see, skill-based match, freaking UMM, skill-based damage, all of this crap. Gotta go, though. Cheaters, hackers, gotta go, though. Yeah, I, I would say if all of these problems would would have gone, gone away... Uh, Black Ops 6 would definitely be a solid title. It already it has the foundation though. The foundation of the game is very strong. It's not anything impressive though. The reason I'm saying it's not impressive is because it looks the same as like any other Call of Duty game that came out in the last three to five years, right? Looks wise and gameplay wise uh, a little bit to a certain degree. Call of Duty gameplay has always been fluid, always been good, right? So I'm not criticizing that. But the but the reason it's not super impressive is because it just looks like the other Call of Duty games. That's not a bad thing. But if you want to really keep your players engaged, you need to make sure the game looks a little bit different. So there is novelty. And of course, the maps in the games are in the game are genu genuinely bad. Uh, outside of all these things I mentioned, the game is very solid. If they put good maps, uh, cheater, they solve the issue, the problem of cheaters. Which let's be real, I don't think that I don't think they would be able to hundred hundred percent. But what about eighty percent, right? What about say solving the problem eighty percent? Okay, eighty percent too hard, too hard. Let's do seventy percent, sixty percent even, right? 
yeah, they need to do that. Lower the skill based matchmaking and have crazy skill based matchmaking in ranked play because, yep, that's where it should be at. Uh, get rid of skill based damage as well. Get rid of EOMM, which means engagement based optimizer. All of that cheese gotta go, man. All of that, uh, yeah, the, it's just like extra cheese for, for nothing. We don't want that. We don't want that. It's bad. It's bad. Like people getting cholesterol. That they're, yeah, right? Like it, it's bad, bro. It's bad, man. Sometimes you want double cheese. Therefore, you got rank play. But other times, you j <laughs> you just want to chill and play. Not every time you need to just be killed right after you get a friendly <laughs> Sometimes you want to call in more than just a friendly UAV online. Man, listen, I like I said, I listen to YouTube videos. I watch podcasts while playing Black Ops 6. But even then, I'm just getting the UAV online. I'm just calling in the UAV and then I peace out in the game, right? It's mostly, for the most part, it's like one kill, one death. And sometimes, if I'm lucky, I would get a UAV online, okay? Not a friendly UAV, but the friendly, friendly UAV online, if that, if, if that, if that makes sense, okay? All right, let's get back to the content here. By the, by the way, by the way, guys, if you do have Instagram, if you do have Twitter, I would love to have you. I would love to have you there because recently I posted this tweet. Let me show you guys. This is funny. I'm probably going to cover this like in a different video as well. Elon Musk has been going crazy uh, over on Twitter. Uh, I will cover that in that woke news video, right? But just wanted to point that out. Elon Musk has been also calling out. It gotten so bad that he called out the Concord situation. How crazy is that? He called it out. He even done like a video, uh, which I'll likely play like in a in a in a news uh, in a woke news video in the, probably very soon so definitely look out for that but yeah he was calling out the concord situation as well and I, then i and then i posted here look at how they massacred laura <laughs> that's the that's the call of duty laura croft skin by the way so this is the this is what act uh, this is the, uh, uh, the actors and design that crazy right but let's get back to it are cheaters out there all the damn time not getting banned somehow still high levels there's no anti cheat Ladies and gentlemen, mm. there is nothing positive about this tweet because we right. all know with how much experience, how much time we have invested in this game, we know nothing's going to change. Because Call of Duty refuses to get a better anti-cheat, to find a better system, to find a better way to save their game. Ranked play is chalked. There is no point in playing it. Anybody that does, I don't know how you do it because one, the maps suck, but two, the second you hit diamond or even mm. plat, it's cheaters. I wanted to bring that point up and this point is so like relevant right now because the better you get in the game I uh, see like back in Modern Warfare 19 this this is true guys this is important as well right because back in Modern Warfare 19 if you were really really good the game would match make you with skill based matchmaking and that's where people found out that's where people were complaining the most because that was the first game to have crazy amount of skill based matchmaking and every year it has been like that but now you also got cheaters we have been having cheaters for a minute guys but but what i mean by that is that it's uh, the cheaters population is growing 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 like how you would have one bed bug in your be uh, in your bed and they would multiply right essentially that's how that's the logic right here so yeah you would you would see you're seeing the cheaters multiply but, but now the the issue is that if you're a good player if you're a good player and the better you get at the game not that not only that you're going to be match made because of skill based matching and not only that you're going to be match made with like really high level players in the game but in the high level category also comes the cheaters how? Why? Por qué? ¿Qué pasa? Essentially, the cheaters are aimbotting. They're having high KD. They're killing people faster than the, UF the UFOs in the sky can lock on to you, right? They're, they're, they're killing people left and right. You know, they're, they're, their KD ratio is very good. They're cheating around in the game, aimbotting and all that. Therefore, their aim is good. Their reaction timing, even though they don't they don't have any reaction timing it's just that you gotta press a button and boom 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 it's gonna it's gonna auto lock and, and find enemies wall hacks you know where everybody's at uh, at all times so if you're gonna play with cheats you're gonna get good stats therefore if you're somebody that also is a good player that does not cheat chances are very high that you're gonna be match made with cheaters as well so it's like a double bumble cloud it's like a double-edged sword right yeah that's where we at right now so this is why the system sucks even more it sucks harder than a friendly uav online bundle ladies and gentlemen if that makes sense playground they're having fun just headshotting the fuck out of you wall hacks aimbots doesn't matter they have it all they spend more money on their cheats than their fucking deodorants 
That's how you know it's a bad fucking day. They live in the grandma's basement. Parents kick them out. Parents are actually smart, but the grandma still loves them. They live down there. Smell that shit up. You smell it through all the fucking floors. It's just grandmas are the best. That's why. But 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 grandmas gotta teach them a lesson, man. They gotta whoop their asses, man. Disgusting. They stink. Fat as fuck. Cheaters hey, in a video game because their hey. ego is so low that they have to do that. They're gonna continue to keep ruining the game because they're. You are being fat phobic. Like the video if he's being fat phobic guys right now. Weird people. They where where are my stud donuts at? Where are my stud donuts at? Shout out to my stud donuts. Shout out to my stud muffins, donuts, everybody, man. I love everybody, man. I love everybody, man. They are. I'm sorry. If you were a cheater watching this video, I don't know what's wrong with you, man. I really don't. But I also don't blame you. Because if you can get away with it and everybody else is doing it, why would you not? Right? Isn't don't that how blame. it works? Like, if you can't beat them, join them. Right? So that's what all these people are doing. And when Activision refuses to invest and make this better... That's all people are going to do. It's the same with two boxing and reverse boosting. When skill-based matchmaking was so bad and people found a way around it, yes, everybody hated it. Guys, cheating is so bad that this recently just happened. Check out this video on the screen. You're going to see like actual cheaters live, aimbotting, wall hacking. You're going to see it with your own eyes. And this sucker was also caught cheating. You're going to see it. We also, we also have footage. It's not just he said, she said. We got real video of cheats. People cheating. Check it out and I'll see you right there.